Advent for me has many joyful signs and it begins on the evening, the vigil of Advent, next Saturday evening, when we get to sing that, sing that lovely evening prayer hymn, creator of the stars of night, the people's everlasting light, redeemer, saviour of us all, oh hear your servants when they call. So we have that light, that calling. And for me, Advent is very synonymous with a period of four weeks with lots of things to get done, lots of secular things to get done. But beneath that platform is another one. I like to have a platform of deepened spirituality. And that for me enables me to see the light. Advent for me is the light. I see in my mind that lovely coloured glass window in our cathedral. If I go in on a one afternoon, the sharp winter sunlight as day becomes night, shining through that lovely red window, giving me hope. I also see the light of Advent in each Sunday as we share those readings, make his path straight, rejoice, the Lord is coming, prepare the way of the Lord. And I see a lot of rejoicing in joyful preparation. People say, and rightly say, Advent is a time of joyful preparation. Indeed it is, but it's more. It's a time of joyful, good, solid repentance. Really, I define my Advent as my New Year's days. I don't make resolutions on the 1st of January. Instead, I make them throughout the period of Advent. I galvanise myself to gather more, to listen more to people, to go forth and ask myself all the time, how is the gospel being lived out in my life? Or how isn't the gospel being lived out in my life? And unlike the resolutions of January that can be broken, I feel in Advent the Lord is saying to me, come on, wherever you are, whatever stage you're at, together we can pick up the threads of what you didn't do so well last time and build on that. So when people say to me, it's the same old every year, prepare the way of the Lord. No, it isn't, because we're enriching it each year. And I think the Lord will pick me up whenever I fail. And to use those last words of the lovely morning prayer, the Benedictus, he'll give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Gaudete.